Hello, my name is Slata Brouwer and you are watching Violin and Viola TV. In this episode I'm going to give a product review about the Wolf Maestro chin rest and that's just because I uh, have a new chin rest and I would like to uh, let you know what I think about it because lots of people are asking me questions about what kind of rests I'm using etc etc. First a little note, of course this is highly personal, that I like this chin rest doesn't mean that you, you like it too. Because you have a different um, uh, shape of face and a different, um, and a different color bone and, and stuff. So the, the, you should really find a combination of chin rest and shoulder rest that fits your best. So with this little warning I'm going to show you this chin rest. It's the Wolf Maestro. It's really soft so it's not... Um, made of ebony or, uh, or plastic. It's made of leather and with a kind of, yeah, I think it's plastic construction. And uh, it, it uh, attaches to the violin with just one thingy, with a nice leather thingy <laughs> over it. Um, and what the, I think are the advantages is that it's nice and soft. Um, it, it feels very yeah, it feels very comfortable and it's also like leather shoes uh, almost seems to uh, get the shape of your chin instead of the other way around. And uh, it's also really light, so your whole violin is, is very light. Uh, I've uh, 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 put uh, um, a, ch a wooden chin rest on a scale some time ago and I believe it was around... 100 grams, so ebony chin rests are really strong, but they are also really heavy and this one is light So your whole violin is a bit more light uh, and it's really soft uh, Because it's not made of a hard material um, And uh, the only thing uh, the downside I would like to say is that there was when I bought it uh, here was a little rubber thingy glued to the uh, to this metal uh, and, and you should, with a hole in this leather, you should fold it around it. But of course it was a rubber glued to a metal, so it came off really fast and I tried to glue it, glue it back on. Uh, but yeah, it didn't really stick, so I don't understand why they made it rubber or why they didn't attach it in a better way that it keeps. But what I did is that I just put the leather between the screw and now it's a, it's a fine uh, chin rest. Um, so that's the only downside I can, uh, I can mention. Uh, so if you're looking for a very light and soft and comfortable chin rest that is also a little bit flat and not, not very much curved and big enough to, yeah, to give you enough uh, support, then uh, this Wolf Maestro might be something for you. I'll place a link below where you can buy it. And I hope this review has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!